Hi, I'm Kristen Burt for Red Carpet Report, and we are here this morning at the Television Academy for the 70th Annual Primetime Emmy nominations. I have to tell you, I'm a big 90210 fan. Wonderful. So, yes. I appreciate that. I know. I'm super excited to have you here this morning. Always like to ask, what's the preparation like for a presenter? Because you have to make sure you get those names right and everything else. I've been training every day, all day for six months in Siberia, push-ups in the freezing cold. <laughs> I've been climbing mountains. No, that's a lie. I had a <laughs> cup of coffee and uh, tried to uh, stretch a little bit, and uh, and here we are. I, d I will say the one thing I did was they, they, they were kind enough to give us a, a list of names that were possibly in contention that could be uh, possibly confusing to say. Mm -hmm. So I didn't say Adina Menzaduti or something. <laughs> yeah, what was that? Adele Dazim. Adele Dazim, yes. God bless him. <laughs> yes, we love that one. That's a, It's a That's, good one, though, too. It's, it's, the, it's, the, it's the classic, he, but he, he handled it well. But yeah, so hopefully... Hopefully everybody's name came out okay today. Fantastic. What have you been watching this season and really rooting for? Gosh, I've been watching a bunch of stuff. Well, I was watching Patrick Melrose. Man, is it hard to watch sometimes. It gets dark, but Benedict's doing amazing work on it. Hugo Weaving does amazing mm -hmm. work on it. His character is just so nasty. It's uh, crazy, though. There's humor, black humor in there, too. That's there is the real amazing dark, part. Real dark humor in there, but, um, but that's fun. I, and to be standing next to Samira, uh, who's getting nominated for Handmaid's Tale right here, is... is um, is amazing, you know. She the work she's doing on that show. I'm kind of behind them, Handmaids, but I'm watching it now, and the work she's doing is so so terrific. Um, and she's also just a really kind, sort of uh, warm person. So I'm happy for her. Absolutely. And you've got New Amsterdam coming up. This yes. is a great show coming I, up. I think so. I hope so. It's it's great because you know you hear medical drama and you're like I've seen that before, but we want to do less sort of interns making out in closets and and more <laughs> sort of, you know, have it be about something. And in this case, this guy Eric Manheimer wrote. The, this book about about his life, his experiences at Bellevue, and his experiences of trying to get people treating people like human beings again mm -hmm. instead of charts or statistics, and just the difficulties of being an individual in the face of a larger system that's maybe a little bit broken and trying to get the thing moving and working again for people, but he really did it. Well, and the history and legacy of Bellevue, both good and bad, is really fascinating. Right, absolutely. And of course, I you know, in the... You know, doctors are human beings like you and me. They're not perfect and they're not, you know, they make mistakes. And so to get into their lives and, and um, the, the stakes they're dealing with and then their, their, um, uh, the adversity of my character, Max, sort of trying to get through bureaucracy and to, and to get people actually being cared for again in a meaningful way instead of getting stuck on a wait list or whatever um, is, is really, I think, relevant to, to today. It certainly is. And yeah. one final kind of fun, silly question. Yeah. If you're not attending the primetime Emmys, if you don't have that ticket, uh -huh. what does Emmys Day look like for you? Uh, goodness. I would get some pajamas. Yes. I would get some popcorn. Mm -hmm. I would sit back. I would relax. And I would watch Michael and Colin do their thing because they're going to be ridiculous and, and they're going to kill it. Although you do have the end with NBC. I bet they'll give you a ticket. Somebody give me a ticket. We'll make it happen. All right, thank you. <laughs> Good to see you, Ryan. Nice thank you. you so much. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel, like this video, and in the comments below, let us know what nomination you're most excited about.